field link tip number 13 is actually showcasing how to utilize LiDAR scanning uh, with Connect AR in your iPad Pro to supplement X7 and X9 laser scan data, as well as uh, just to help with basic coordination issues. Um, as you can see here, we have the model overlaid for an apartment building, uh, the Navisworks model. Um, we actually saw where the plumbing is completely different than what was designed. And so what we're able to do is actually collect a point cloud, um, which is hundreds of thousands of points with, a, uh, with an iPad um, that we can take measurements from and actually share uh, to the rest of the coordination team. So that we have the discussion of, hey, this plumbing is different than what was designed. Is it going to affect the fire suppression? Do we need to move it, um, et cetera? So this won't be to the level of accuracy um, that the X7 and we'll see um, an X9 are for like uh, fabrication level, but it can definitely help with coordination. So moving through here, we're actually um, in the furnace closet where we're going to essentially capture that area as well too to make sure that um, the hard vent will go in. Capturing a to-do, we can assign this issue uh, to anyone who's involved in, in, in this work and discussion to make sure that we everyone has access to this information. An area of this project is precise so we can all focus in on it back in the office or um, from our own phone calls or emails to kind of coordinate through is this going to be a problem. Finishing up um, just another scan, you can see that to-do email coming through. Uh, once I'm done collecting, I'd probably want to name it a little bit better, but then it'll sync back to Connect Web. So here you can see the model, some PDFs also loaded up as well too, but the, the LAZ files are going to go to Connect AR Scans folder. They can then be downloaded. Um, simply by selecting them and hitting download and then actually import it into Connect um, Desktop. So here we can actually see quite a few scans um, taken here with a section cut. So zooming in here, we can start to see, uh, we'll actually go from a, a lower version. You can um, see here, this is actually a scan that took place below the um, apartment in the, um, parking garage area, kind of showing where those plumbing fixtures are going in um, and making sure that those sleeves are actually in the right spot, which which they are. And then using the section cut, we're able to um, drag this up so that we can focus in on just the uh, area of where this plumbing is kind of going awry. So we'll bring that up and then bring up actually the section cut a little bit higher on the top. And you can start to see here is where uh, the plumbing actually was installed versus designed. I can take measurements from this and then use this in my discussion of, hey, is this fire suppression going to be okay in there? I can also confirm very quickly that there is no issue with where that hard vent is going to come in. So for coordination and like stick built, the iPad is a great and Connect Era is a great uh, tool to use, and this data can then be shared. Uh, it'll download as an LAZ, but if I open it up and recap, I can bring it to Navisworks um, or Revit or ACC or anything like that. Um, if I'm going to do uh, fabrication work or if I want to make sure that like plumbing is going to uh, mechanical pipe that I'm fabricating is going to fit, I'd probably still want to use an X7 or X9 because here you can see the quality of that data, um, both uh, showing like where this pipe is going versus the sleeve is going to be exact and have millions of points. So um, here you can actually see a comparison versus the model as well too that was done in FieldLink. Both sets of scan data and it, what is really valuable for both of them is are going to be geo-referenced. Um, meaning they're going to be, these points are going to be relative to the model out done out on site. So when you share that back, anyone who downloads it and brings it in, it's going to pop in the right spot and you can really um, go through and it's essentially start to help with those coordination issues. So the iPad is going to be great for basic um, kind of relative measurements. You can see the data is just for the X7, X9 is going to be incredibly clean and go a lot farther and a, a lot faster during collection. Um, so it's probably better for floor analysis, uh, elevator core analysis, and like fabrication level, um, like mechanical room areas like you see here. But the iPad scanning is great for coordination and kind of picking up areas quickly and easily. Thanks and please uh, Ask any questions in the comments, we'll get them answered and reach out to your nearest building point representative if you want to see these tools on your job sites to help connect your construction, say, more efficient and more accurate.